Hello and welcome back to more Civilization Beyond Earth with me, the Bastard, doing a first playthrough where we discover the game, basically. Um, it's proving to be a lot of fun so far. Um, so, we've got our first trade convoy set up with Adept Blue, which is great, providing us with lots of juicy extra stuff. We're building an extra colonist with the in intent, I think, that we're going to pop it down here. Because there seem to be quite a few nice tiles around here, I think, so uh, we might pop them around there, I reckon. Uh, yeah, it's it's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's um, let's go forward. Okay, we got our explorer up here, and we're just gonna uh, creep down there. And you can go over here and have a poke around. Discovered Fort Barker. Again, a uh, like a city-state sort of thing. I want to find what what was that one? It began with L, and I uh, it gives me culture, and I really want to deal with it, but it's uh, I'm just not sure where it is on the map. Oh well. Unit needs orders. Ugh, you're gonna have to take a hit from that miasma. Sorry. Oh, no, you can still... Oh, God. Way is blocked. The way is shut. It belongs to the dead. Uh, let's just... Yeah, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a resource pot down there. Really? Oh, what am I doing? Fine. Camp Cascade. It's a cool name. So I've discovered planetary All survey. possess inherent value. And establishing the exact <laughs> dollar value of the property should be a priority. So I can build a work barge. Do I have to build a work barge, or can I just build it with a worker? Presumably, I build it with a worker because I can embark with them, uh, which is cool. So I'll wait for my worker to be finished, and then uh, got traipse that worker all the way around there. That explorer, rather. And more research. Okay. Um, yeah, they're still, that's actually, is that more than it was? I don't know. Um, it's still pricey, though. This stuff is all pricey. Um, is that, am I meant to take chemistry and physics first? Is that kind of the intent? I don't know. Um, hmm. What should we go with? You know, I think we will go with chemistry. For now. The thing is, I can I can get pricey stuff with my uh, with my free culture tax. Oh, hello. We're cool, though, right, aliens? We're cool. We're totally cool. Ooh, is that a trade? Oh, that's the explorer. Because they've got the embarking thing. Hey! Don't be mean. Well, they're enraged by... So whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get away from there. Why do they attack me? Is it completely random? I don't know. But we're getting out of there. And fast. I'm probably going to pull our raptor bug back, actually. Uh, okay, so we've um, we've built our generator on there. We're now going to get onto this algae. Chivo unlocked. So that's what a generator looks like. Did we chop down the forest to get that? Oh, we did. Oh. That's unfortunate. Didn't really want to do that. Oh, well. Um, uh, why are we on food production? There's no point in being on food production. Because... Uh, we can't... We're stagnating anyway because colonist. Okay. Let's switch to production, production. That's cool. That's our worker boat. Nice. Next turn, I hope my raptor bug doesn't get utterly destroyed by them chasing after me. They're not chasing after me too far. I'm going to retreat my raptor bug now so I can presumably heal up more in my territory. I don't know. We'll find out. Whoa, that's not what I want to do. Okay.
See, I don't know if like the rules of this with aliens are existent or whether it's just kind of random. Um, worker, construct a work barge, please. Provides one science, one uh, uh, one food on algae. Okay. Coral's better, but uh, that's cool. That's ten miasma for that uh, African Union explorer. Still not entirely comfortable with that siege worm near my city, but uh, you know, what you're gonna do? What's that? Derelict settlement. Is that something I can do an expedition on? It already does have miasma on it, unfortunately. You know what? I keep forgetting. I can just go on onto the sea now. Colonist. You can found an outpost with your colonist. Outposts eventually grow into cities. An outpost will prosper when founded in a location with plentiful food. So choose a location with food producing resources or grassland if possible. Move your colonists to a fertile location and found an outpost. See, they like that spot as well. <laughs> uh, so there we go. So I was uh, bang on, bang on. I'm going to move down there with my soldier as well. I'm going to provide them with cover with my soldier. Ooh, settlers chunky. And explorer. Explorer, explore. Let's choose our production. Uh, okay, what can we get? We've got quite a few things now. Um, tempted to go for a cyto nursery. Do we have any swamp around here? Uh, it's mostly grassland. Xenomass there, though, okay. Um, uh, science and health, and health translates to culture for us, so that's nice. Uh, repair facility, I'm not too bothered by at the moment. Um, plus three energy could be quite nice. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I, do, I think I do need to start clearing some of this... Uh, some of this miasma might not be a bad idea around here. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, even just like having an extra unit could be quite handy. Um, I will need an extra unit to guard the city, I guess. I don't know. Um, but for now, you know, no, I, I will build a building. I'll, I'll construct a building. Uh, and we're gonna, we'll go for the Cyto Nursery. Cyto Nursery it is. I think. Or should I... Do I have marshes near me? That looks a bit marshy. No, it's all grassland. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll go for the thorium reactor. We'll have some extra energy. That's fine. Can I switch to... Uh, that's eight turns. That's three turns until a new citizen is born. And eleven turns. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have that. We don't have any extra in there, do we now? That's fine. Quest updated. Found an outpost. Uh, so yeah, we've researched pioneering. We've built one colonist unit. We've completed construction of the necessary machinery. Search for an ideal location to build an outpost, preferably a lo location rich with food and resource, and send the colonist to that location. Once you arrive, set up the outpost. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so move our soldier to that non-miasma square. Do the same with our colonist. I do like that big chunky uh, thing they've got. We'll move around with our raptor bug. Okay, we don't have much in the way of uh, visibility on, on the ocean here, so... I'm tempted to just set them to auto-explore now. But we'll, uh, we'll see. For anyone unfamiliar with French, incidentally, um, le corps means the heart. Which is nice for our uh, hippie-ish uh, inhabitants of the Franco-Iberian uh, colony. So, soldier, we're going to have to crawl down there a little bit, but that's fine. Do not attack us, wolf beetles. 
We are fearsome when aroused. Aroused? <laughs> Enraged. <laughs> Not aroused. Uh, that's weird. Um, auto explore on them, maybe? Yeah, we'll auto explore for now for a bit. See, see how well that works, essentially. So we've got chemistry. World world's worth of resources shared among a handful of people. We're gonna make a fortune here. <laughs> that rogue. That's the that's the leader of uh, Pol Australia, I think. Uh, so we can build laboratories, recyclers, uh, petroleum wells, stuff like that. Okay. So let's choose our research. So physics is really quick now. Uh, well, we should probably... Do we need physics anyway? For We don't need physics for nanotechnology. That's actually one we, we don't particularly need. Um, I mean, these look quite useful as well. It'd be handy to have a ranged unit, actually. It will be handy to have a ranged unit, because they're better inside cities. So I might, uh, I might do that. Okay, soldier. Hopefully this colonist doesn't provide tempting for that wolf beetle. But there's a soldier on top, so, you know, we're fine. Maybe, a bit. Oh, we can't get through! Gonna have to go around here and embark and go around, I think. Either that will get uh, an open borders with him. <laughs> Which, at this point, might not be a bad idea. No, they're not tempted. Good. Right, so where did I think the best spot was? So the game thinks there is the best spot. So that's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So that's not down there. That's not that. Um, it's also really close to Adept Blue, but that doesn't seem to actually have territory. So that's fine. If I moved one step further down, I think that would be better because I would get. Um, I would still be able to eventually get this chitin, is it? Resilin. I would still be able to get that resilin eventually, but I would also also get this... Um, is this Firaxite? Yeah, I think there's better. It's also a bit further away from Adept Blue, so there's less territory crossover. Um, one, two, three. I was just wondering, is there actually a bonus to having it within my territory? But... Um, but there doesn't have it in the territory either, so. So we're actually going to go one further step down here. It's also, that's also next to a mountain, which may not have any relevance outside of um, Civ 5, but it's interesting to know. You know what? My powerful military? Really? Okay. Speak. Dude, open borders just to let my guy through. <laughs> Certainly. Sure. You seem an honourable chap. I don't see a problem with it. Hey, so does that mean we've got our... Uh... Let's just move ashore. Yeah, wow, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So that's our work barge thing. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So that gives us lots of stuff. Lots of stuff now. Awesome. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay, so yeah, so that's one, two, three. See, I'm assuming that the territory spread here is the same as it is in um, Civ, but one, two, three. Yeah, I can put people down three tiles away, so I think that's a sensible thing to do to go here um, god this all needs clearing of miasma so I can work it so that I can uh, put well put workers on it certainly I actually quite like the the slightly slower spread of this game it's um, it's interesting yep you go there and then next turn we'll start our next colony well our outpost anyway so what can I build here um, yeah, let's build a, build some extra farmland. And as for you, you can go here. And you can, uh, let's see if we can heal you in some sense. Hey, 
hey, we've got a new virtue as well. But before we do that, you know what we're going to do? We're going to build our first outpost. Yeah, here totally looks better, I think. I think this is a much better spot. Found outpost. I received a soldier for it. Oh, that's cool. So I can move the soldier back. Up here, frankly. So I can put it in the core. So now, what can you do? Do nothing. Sleep? Will that heal you? We'll find out. Fortify. So we completed that quest. Fantastic. The outpost has been constructed and will soon grow into a full city. It's important to protect newly constructed outposts as they are vulnerable to attack. Okay. Uh, is the thing of an outpost that it can't build anything, presumably? No actions can be performed while an outpost is growing into a city. Okay. Um, three turns, though. Not too far. Develop a virtue. So what can we get? Minus 40% science penalty from number of cities. Plus one health for every six pop in a city. Uh, earn extra energy equal to 30% of the culture you generate. Um, those are the three that I can get there, basically. And do I want to be pushing forward for those at the moment, or do I want to uh, move out further into here? Hmm. That's a question. Hmm. That's a question. What's this bonus? Plus ten percent production energy in the capital. Whereas this one is plus ten percent science in every city. And science is probably going to be partly my thing, so I might I might end up going down this way. Um okay. Let's go for... Um, we've only got one extra city at the moment. Um, but let's not take a hit on it at all. Let's... Um, uh, shall we? Oh, I don't know. Choices. These are good choices, though, because they are choices. You know, I need to choose them. Uh, let's go for applied aesthetics. Extra energy. Equal to 30% of my culture. Yeah. Okay. And how many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need two more. I think two more. Uh, yeah. Prosperity. Yeah, it's healing. Good, okay. Send this soldier north so it can protect Lacour. I wonder perhaps do the aliens get more aggressive? Um the more you kind of spread out. That's a possibility. Quests updated. Okay, what have we got? Ah, that's a new one. The Vital Frontier. A scientist working at our vivarium has made a profound discovery. The xenocyte culture she has developed have unique reactions to tissue from Earth organisms, and she claims they could be used to make Earth alien hybrid organs. Her colleagues condemn her work as dangerous and unethical, meddling in alien biology before we fully understand the consequences. They are threatening to shut the project down. Ooh. So continue the research, which gives us plus one science from vivariums. Or stop the project, which gives us plus one food from vivariums. Being as our end state will probably end up being Earth alien hybrids, we're going to continue the research. Plus one. To hell with it. Full steam ahead. The project is advancing. Early trials suggest these xenocytes could lead to strange new discoveries in science and medicine. I can't see what could possibly go wrong from that. What could possibly go wrong? We'll take the miasma hit, it's fine, we're going to go in here and fortify anyway. Layer. I don't know how long these uh, things stay in orbit, I think, presumably it's slightly random before they deorbit. I don't know. In the meantime, I'm getting plenty of cash. What's the purchases looking like? Yeah, not enough for anything up other than Explorer yet, so... To wait and get some extra cash. Where is our Explorer, speaking of? Where did they head to? Where did they head to? How rum.
Did they get eaten by something? That's weird. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. Not doing much good auto exploring. I don't see the benefit, I'm afraid. What benefit for my people? Health could do with going up. Hmm. That soldier can... Well, you can just go here. Trade convoy. Okay, so have you leveled up? Yes. Uh, currently at tier 2. We'll approve to tier 3 when any player completes a trade route with the station. Okay, so um, establish a trade route. So I can go to Prosperite, which will increase the growth rate. Uh, I can go to Central. Or I can go to Magan. Uh, going to Central gives me quite a lot of energy. Uh, but it also presumably give him energy. And I get food and science from uh, from Adept Blue. We'll carry on with the Adept Blue one and level them up again. Yeah. And then I'll probably try and get one from here to Camp Cascade. That would probably be a good idea. Ah, maybe as they level up, they then actually start to gain territory, maybe. That would be pretty neat. Yes, so we do, you roguish man. I've discovered physics. Consider a simple problem, such as navigation in a spaceship approaching light speed. <laughs> okay. So, we don't have any easy options now. We're going to have to go for something. Uh, we're going to have to go for one of these leaves. And they're all 15, actually. They are all 15. So, we're going to go for alien life forms. Uh, and that'll let us get an alien preserve, which is nice, because that forwards our quest as well. Uh, and it's just extra culture, so uh, we're definitely going to go for alien life forms. And where's our raptor bug? Uh, shall I control your movement rather than set you to auto explore? Where, where, where's our explorer gone now? I thought you were around there somewhere. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, there you are. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's try and do a bit of exploration down here if we can. Without getting attacked by aliens, hopefully. Uh, you can fortify in there. Our capital has grown into a bustling city. It may be time to build a colonist to found an outpost, which will eventually grow into a new city. I've literally just done that. <laughs> but uh, you know, good, good, good that you noticed. Um, uh, and it has actually... Is it now? Oh, no, it's still growing into a city. Okay. But it does have territory. Choose production. Um, so, we just built something? What did we just build? Well, let's find out. What did we just build? Um, where can I see what it has in it? City building wonders? Yes, oh, yes, show, please. Um, okay, here we go. Thorium... Yeah, we built just built a thorium reactor for extra energy. Okay, so we can put stuff in here, which is presumably like the old citizen, like, specialist stuff. Um, but that will take someone away from what we're doing, and that might not be the best idea right now. We're only pop six, so we're going to leave that, we're gonna leave that empty for now. Um, choose production, though. Um, so, what can we get? Ultrasonic fence, still not too bothered about that. I'm not having many problems with them at the moment. Recycler is production plus two, and plus one production from internal city or station trade routes. Um, well, that's gr good, because we, we have uh, a trade route. Um, or health plus two, it's only a four. Science plus two, and science plus one, health plus one. We're going to go for the recycler extra production with... Um, plus one production from the station trade route, so we should get plus three production from that, which is pretty sweet. Uh, unit needs orders. Yes, don't attack me, I'm just going for a wee explore. 
Okay, so we've got uh, that here. Can we clear my asthma with these guys? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, let's move over Hamya. And maybe have yet another farm? I don't know. We'll see. Whoa! Well, that siege worm did not like that worker, which is a shame, because that's my only bloody worker. Okay. Eh. That's annoying. I can buy another worker next turn, though. Um, again, I don't know what provokes them. I have no idea. Presumably, harm level one. Alien aggression level re returns to neutral twice as quickly. But how do I know what their what their uh, aggression levels are? Hmm. I don't know what their aggression levels are, you see. So I don't know how I provoke them or anything else. Hmm. I don't know. Gotta run, run with that, I guess. Ooh, enemy ra or oh, alien raptor bugs over there. In any case, so what is this siege worm gonna do now? Is the question. They're just gonna fuck off. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Bit random. Bit random. That's a shame, but we'll just buy another worker. I might start building a road down to Prosperite. Go over here with the uh, Explorer. That's a bit of a shame. I don't like it mucking around there. I'd rather it just went away forever. Unit needs orders. Well, you um, you just fortify there until you heal. The worker. The worker can go here and build a mine, maybe, I guess. Alien nest discovered. Interesting. Uh, alien, ag so alien aggression isn't an entirely straightforward thing. Presumably until someone discovers what is done. Ah, and they're attacking me again. Whoa, there's there's way too many guys there. I'm, I'm going to run away really rather quickly. Is it because I built another settlement that they're getting a bit uh, fighty with me? Interesting. Build a mine there. I keep thinking they're attacking my uh, my city there. Oh God! So many siege worms and other things. Oh God! They're right next to me. Now they're going to attack me again. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. At least I haven't got my trade convoy yet. Um, presumably I can't. Can I not embark with those bugs? No, okay. This explorer. Uh, tell you what, you can actually go on the. If you go via sea, you can get around that kind of bug obstruction, beetle obstruction we had up there. Beetle obstruction mechanics. Not many games you can say that about. Okay. 
really wish that worm would go away. Don't want to accidentally attack something with my feeble explorer. Um, so Prosperite, when does it become a city then? Grow in one turn. But when does it become a city, you see? I don't know. Does it need an entire... When, is it maybe when it, it takes this mountain? Yes, it is. Okay, it needs to take the entire range around it, I see. Presumably alien aggression grows with numbers or some such? I don't know. Still haven't found anything else expedition worthy, I don't think. Choose a bit of production here. Um, so did we build our... whatever we were building? It's a shame it doesn't tell you what you were building. Uh, our recycler, yes, our recycler. For plus one production. Plus three production. I would hope. Uh, yeah, okay. That's great. That's good. Um, hmm. So, what to build now? That's the question. <clears throat> How long is it until we get um, alien life forms? Six turns. We can build something else then before we build our alien preserve. Um, what else to build here, though? You know, I'll probably just go for... Oh, we're at minus one health. Okay. We're going to go for a farmer lab then. Is that because we've expanded into a city there, presumably? Yeah, probably. Okay. Um, well, health is our immediate concern then. So we will build uh, a clinic here. I think that's the quickest route towards health. Yeah, we'll build a clinic. Okay, uh, and then we'll go here and we'll switch to production focus, so we build that quickly. Because, um, to be honest, uh, yeah, with extra food will just lead to more uh, uh, more health problems, so we'll do that. Okay, that, well that's good to know. Huh. Someone expanded down there? Yeah, Pan-Asian, looks like they've got a, a city down there. But that's fine. This land is ours. It's totally not ours. Um, okay. Start constructing a road. Yeah, start constructing a road. have to suffer a bit of miasma damage for three turns, I think, to get that road in place, but fine. Cooperation agreement has expired with Samatar. Is this Samatar? Yes. Sardawo. Come. Yes. Sit and speak. Okay. Yeah, our health needs pushing up. Okay. That's, uh, that's good to know. Yes, we are friends. Okay, we'll probably wait for this turn to, uh, to just expire now. Yep. And um, I think we'll leave the video there. Um, it's, I think it's going fairly well. It's going fairly well. We're not having too much of a ruckus with the aliens right now, which is uh, pretty positive. And this alien life forms thing should, um, should presumably help. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.